For decades, spaceflight was defined by long preparation times, astronomical launch costs and rockets that were discarded after a single use. Even today, most heavy-lift missions rely on expendable hardware and launch rates measured in months, not weeks. But as the space industry evolves, one company continues to push beyond every boundary, SpaceX. Known for rapidly iterating and breaking norms, it's now attempting something the industry has never seen before. Starship, SpaceX's next-generation rocket has already stunned the world with its size and ambition. But in 2025, the real transformation begins. SpaceX isn't just planning more test flights. It's preparing for an operational leap that could redefine how humanity reaches orbit. With plans for over 100 launches in a single year, this campaign could dwarf every other effort in aerospace history. Given Starship's scale and what's planned for 2025, this video explores how SpaceX is preparing for one of the most intense launch campaigns in human history. But before we go further, make sure you subscribe for more in-depth insights into the space industry. Starship is the largest and most powerful rocket ever flown. Standing over 120 meters tall in its current Block II form and projected to reach up to 150 meters in the next version, it's powered by dozens of Raptor engines capable of delivering nearly 90 mega newtons of thrust. But more importantly, it's fully reusable, a feature no other super heavy lift system has achieved. The upcoming 2025 campaign marks the transition from test flights to operational missions. In 2023 and 2024, SpaceX conducted six integrated flight tests focused on proving the basics, stage separation, controlled re-entry and data gathering. But 2025 will be different. It's no longer about if Starship can fly, it's about flying regularly, reliably, and at scale. The numbers are staggering. SpaceX is targeting at least 25 launches from its Starbase facility in Texas, a five-fold increase over its 2024 limit. At the same time, construction is accelerating in Florida, where two sites at Cape Canaveral are being developed. SLC-37, a former Delta IV pad, is being converted into a Starship launch complex with dual 180-meter towers. Once complete, it could support up to 76 launches per year. LC-39A, another high-priority site, is under review for an additional 44 Starship missions annually. Combined, these launch pads could support up to 145 launches per year, nearly three launches every week. Achieving this pace hinges on Starship's rapid reusability, something SpaceX continues to iterate aggressively. In 2025, the Block II version will be the workhorse. With a payload capacity of 100 to 150 tons to low Earth orbit, improved heat shield durability and relight capability, it's the most advanced Starship to fly so far. But by the end of the year, Block III is expected to debut, a significantly larger variant with up to 200 tons of reusable payload capacity. If flown expendably, that number doubles. The redesign includes structural overhauls and upgraded Raptor engines that aim to eliminate previous combustion issues. Driving this entire push is Starlink, SpaceX's low-Earth orbit internet constellation. The latest Starlink V3 satellites are significantly larger and more capable than previous generations. Each weighs nearly two tons and delivers up to one terabit per second in downlink capacity. With Starship's payload capacity, more than 100 of these can be launched at once. Every launch adds over 100 terabits of bandwidth to the global network. Replacing 20 Falcon 9 launches with a single Starship mission doesn't just multiply bandwidth, it frees up SpaceX's existing fleet to serve paying customers and saves hundreds of millions in launch costs. But reaching such aggressive cadence isn't without setbacks. In 2025 alone, the three most recent Starship flights, Flights 7, 8, and 9, have highlighted key challenges. Flight 8 achieved a major milestone when the Super Heavy booster was caught for the first time. However, the upper stage was lost due to a Raptor engine failure that caused it to spin uncontrollably. Flight 9 saw the first reuse of a Super Heavy booster, but it exploded during landing. The upper stage also suffered a propellant leak and a payload door malfunction. These flights reveal that while some major milestones are being achieved, reliability remains a central issue. 
Not a single Block II upper stage has been successfully recovered yet. Heat shield tile loss, engine instability, and system level failures are all being addressed, but they slow progress and invite increased regulatory scrutiny. Each mishap requires a full FAA investigation and corrective actions, delaying future flights. Infrastructure is another bottleneck. While demolition at SLC 37 has begun, it won't be operational until at least 2027. LC 39A also faces delays due to ongoing environmental assessments. Meanwhile, competitors like ULA and Blue Origin have raised concerns that Starship's high launch rate could interfere with their operations at Cape Canaveral. Range scheduling and regulatory approvals are becoming increasingly complex. Even so, SpaceX is pushing ahead. Internally, it's targeting 10 to 12 Starship launches in 2025. These will focus primarily on Starlink deployment, refining orbital refueling techniques, and achieving consistent booster recovery. Raptor V3, a redesigned engine, is also expected to debut later this year, aimed at solving the persistent combustion instability seen in current versions. Long term, the ambitions are much larger. Starting in 2027, SpaceX aims to launch over 100 Starship missions per year. This is essential for major missions like Artemis III, NASA's planned crewed lunar landing, and future Mars cargo deliveries. A single mission to Mars may require up to 10 Starship tanker launches just to refuel in orbit. The launch rate isn't just impressive, it's foundational to making those missions possible. On the economic front, the implications are massive. Starship's goal is to bring launch costs below $10 million, a tenth of what expendable rockets typically cost. That level of affordability would allow SpaceX to dominate the heavy lift market. While companies like Rocket Lab and ULA might manage a few launches per pad each year, SpaceX is building toward weekly or even daily launch cycles. Beyond commercial and scientific payloads, new markets are also being explored. The U.S. Department of Defense is investigating Starship's potential for rapid global cargo delivery, envisioning 1,000-ton payloads delivered anywhere on Earth in under an hour. Starship's scale could also support next-generation telescopes, orbital manufacturing hubs, and rapid deployment of Earth-observing satellites for climate monitoring. From materials science to logistics and military applications, the ripple effects of high-cadence Starship launches are already being felt. Advances in cryogenic steel alloys, heat shield tiles, and orbital operations are being driven by Starship's unique demands. The technologies being developed aren't just useful for one rocket. They're laying the groundwork for a new era in space infrastructure. In the end, the sheer number of launches SpaceX is preparing for in 2025 isn't just a statistic. It's a reflection of the company's strategy to iterate fast, learn from failure, and move the industry forward at a pace no one else can match. If even a portion of these launches succeed, it will transform what's possible in orbit and far beyond. Starlink could gain dominance, deep space missions could accelerate, and entire new industries could be born. But if the failures mount faster than progress, even SpaceX might be forced to slow down. The next 12 to 18 months will show whether this ambitious cadence is the future of spaceflight or just an aspirational step too far. Either way, it marks the beginning of something we've never seen before. And as the next Starship lifts off, it won't just carry satellites or fuel. It will carry the weight of SpaceX's entire vision for humanity's future in space. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.